Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, we're going to be doing an upstairs clean. In one of my previous videos, I did the whole entire first floor. So today we are tackling the entire second floor. I'll take you guys along. So deep cleaning, decluttering. We have a lot of clothes and a lot of stuff all over the place in the kids' rooms, our bedroom, our master, all of that stuff. Clothes and everything that I wanna go through, put away, organize, get all of that stuff situated. So today we'll be deep cleaning, organizing, decluttering, all of that good stuff with me from my entire second floor. If you give this video a big thumbs up, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new here for more home cleaning and organization. And without further ado, let's get right into this one. Diving right on in, we are starting off with Mila's bedroom. I'm gonna share with you guys the whole before of everything. And then at the very end, you can see the full after, of what everything looked like cleaned. A little um, PSA in today's voiceover. I will be telling you guys that Capri woke me up at 6.30 a.m. So she is here, thriving, nice and loud. You may be hearing her in a few of these clips, but that is real life, mom life. So I hope you'll enjoy and I hope you'll stay and that this gives you lots and lots of cleaning motivation. So I actually had to take off all of her um, entire bedding and the duvet and everything because I wanted to go ahead and clean it off from us being sick and stuff like that. I've probably cleaned this duvet about three times during the stomach flu. So this is the final time that I just wanted to give it, you know, one last good cleaning so it could be ready and set now that we're all better. So I removed all of that and then I went ahead and placed it on. If you guys have any tips on how to, um, you know, put in a duvet cover once it is all cleaned because it was quite the challenge and then later on I am actually taking my little like hand steamer and I did steam this afterwards this way it looked nice and neat and got rid of any of the wrinkles because I do let this duvet air dry so it tends to get a little wrinkly Then she just likes to have like a couple of her little stuffed toys over on the bedside chair for when she goes to bed and snuggles with. And then I'm working my way onto her little kid's vanity, cleaning that off. She loves playing with makeup. So this, yes, say hi Capri. <laughs> Here's little Miss Capri. And yeah, I'm just clearing it off of all the makeup that she loves having on there. After I'm done with the vanity, I worked my way onto her bedside table. So I went ahead, sprayed some cleaner on there, gave that a good wipe down. This thing gets dusty, you guys, so I definitely have to clean this on a weekly basis. I don't know why, but I guess because it's mirrored and stuff, it definitely attracts a lot of dust. And then I placed back her lamp diffuser that I also dust as well. And then she actually had, you guys know, her birthday party last week. So just sorting through a couple of um, gifts that she had and stuff like that to go ahead and wash put away things like that all the things you said you try to turn me into somebody else but it will ricochet i won't let it by 
And then for Mila's dresser, you guys, it was just a disaster. She loves, as you know, changing multiple times a day, and she doesn't really do a good job at putting things back the right way. So we went ahead and we we're like, you know what? Let's just declutter and reorganize. So we emptied the entire drawer out, and then we got sorting a pile for her shorts, for her pants, leggings, jeans, basically different categories that we could have things. And all three of us got to it, and we were just organizing away and getting things things back the way they belong. Capri, of course, most times she destroys things, but she was attempting to help, <laughs> attempting to put on some of her sister's clothes and then went right back in the draw and just showing you guys kind of how we had it. Like I said, three different categories kind of keeps everything a little more organized and easier for her to know depending on the weather that day, whether she's going to reach in her pants pile, shorts pile, what have you. And then we're going to be working our way on top of the dresser, which a lot of things pile up on there as well from her. And I'm putting away some PJs that she had she has two different robes so i had to go ahead and hang those and put those back in the closet and then anything that was dirty on this um top of the dresser i just went ahead and put into her hamper After I use my glass cleaner for that glass mirror right above her dresser, I go ahead and take some multi-purpose spray and just wiping off all of the surfaces of her dresser as well as the knobs and the front surfaces as well. This way we don't forget about that. And then I'm going to be working my way over by her armoire. But before I did that, I actually did have a pile of clothing that I did laundry that I had to still put away. So I put away those couple of pieces from her hamper. And then you see this nice pile here that I kind of was creating, collecting while I was cleaning off the dressers and all of that. I just added it back to now her empty fresh hamper so it can be ready. The next day I went ahead um, and did a load. I do the girls loads together. So those definitely pile up pretty quickly around here. And then using my same spray away glass cleaner that I used for the mirror above her dresser I also use that on the mirrors of the actual armoire because that does get lots of little fingerprints and things like that all over and then multi-purpose spray just to dust the remaining surfaces of this After that room, I went ahead and ran into next hour bedroom. No rhyme, no reason to how I was doing things. I basically tried just working around like Capri's wake times and things like that. My room, of course, is bigger, so she has more space to kind of crawl around. She's on the opposite side of the room right now while I am, of course, cleaning up this bedroom. So I'm just going ahead and making the bed. I had to place fresh sheets the night before, so I just had to... <laughs> I just had to re-tidy the things up and for me anytime whenever I'm starting cleaning off a space I do usually like to begin with making the bed just because it makes you feel like you've accomplished something Okay, looks like Capri is just gonna take over this voiceover today um, but yeah, if you are feeling challenged to start a particular space, like the things are just so overwhelming and you don't know where to start I highly suggest to start in your bedroom and do your bed because if you do the bed, it makes a world of a difference and it keeps you a little more motivated to keep on going. Then moving my way onto my dresser, 
same thing, clothes that just needed to be put away, <laughs> things that needed to be hung, some folded, some sorted. And then if you guys, well, you haven't watched yet, actually, the next video is going to be a home goods haul. So that is why I had a lot of those items right on my dresser because I filmed that in my bedroom and it never made its way back downstairs. So this is where I was just kind of bringing everything back and putting it where it actually belonged. And same thing, once the surface is all cleared off, I'm just taking the multi-purpose spray, spritzing that on down, and then just taking the rag to the entire dresser, including all of the knobs. And then I'm going to work my way towards my nightstand first. So I like to remove all of the books and things like that on the bottom shelf. I'm also looking to basically do some new decor on this dresser, on, on this dresser, on this nightstand. So I'm going to put some different pompous inside those white vases. I'm going to go ahead and maybe instead of doing coffee table books, but something a little different. If you guys have ideas on things that you've seen and thought looked nice in like this little extra space that I have under here, I would love feedback. Um, and then I'm just dusting everything else on top as well. So any of the clothing that needed to be hung of mine that was on top of the dresser, I usually just pile it up onto the bed. And then once I'm totally done with the dresser and my nightstand, that is when I go in. Then this huge bag of clothes that you just saw me carry out, Mike actually did a closet clear out last week, which I totally should have filmed, <laughs> but I didn't get around to it because he did it at like 11 o'clock at night, of course. So that whole pile, I went ahead and dropped off at donations, gave those away. And then I'm working my way on his dresser, not his, his nightstand, and clearing that off. Same thing, wiping down all these coffee table books and such. All right, and as you saw, I had one very full laundry basket that needed to get washing, so I brought that downstairs, and in just a bit, I'm going to head down and get that load started, but now working our way on top of the ironing board, aka Mike's second dresser. <laughs> if you hear Capri, this is her latest thing. She does little monster sounds. Um, yeah, so folding all of his clothes and just subcategorizing whatever is clean, whatever is dirty, tossing in the hamper, and then tops and bottoms separated. And then I was over having multiple um, hampers, as you see with clean clothes in my bedroom. I always put Mike's clothing like in his own type of hamper with his thing so that he can put it away himself. But as you can see, it looks like he didn't get around to it. So I went, go, went ahead and consolidated the two hampers into one, which hopefully when he got home, you know, that was the goal to have him put it away. I'm here to report that only half of those items have been put away. <laughs> So here I'm just moving the clothing that I said needed to be washed into a smaller load so I can do a total of two loads on this particular day. Thank you. 
once I was done with getting that load started on washing, I ran back upstairs to do Capri's room. Um, same thing. She was up from her nap. We had to take advantage of running up there and getting as much as I could in her nursery before it was time for her to go down for her next nap. So I'm just restocking wipes, diapers, putting away clothing on top of her changing pad and all of that stuff. Then once everything was wiped down, I went ahead and put everything back in its place. This way we are ready to continue diaper changes and changing and all of that good stuff now that everything's restocked and cleaned off on top of her dresser. And then I'm going to go ahead and work my way onto the other side where we have like her rocker and things like that. I just had a pile here of clothes that I actually went ahead and I just kind of save a couple of pieces like that um, are special to me and things like that of the girls. So I had to put that down in the basement and that's so storage which that'll be in another video because I really have to go through I just been mixing like Capri and Mila stuff in the bins but I really want to sort through to decide I felt like I kept a lot more items of Mila's that I probably didn't need to and just sort through some same thing pieces that mean things to me or that are in really good condition if I happen to have another baby girl <laughs> Then I'm going into Capri's closet and I have this little like bassinet that I used when she was little that it's just honestly been filling up with things that don't belong. So sorting everything out and putting things back in their place. Then I just removed everything from the bedside table and then I'm just wiping it all down, removing same thing, dust, things like that. This is just where I would always um, nurse Capri. We are down, you guys, to just one feet a day in the morning time. So the nursing sessions, I'm thinking maybe we just have like four more weeks and then that'll be it. We'll, we'll have completed, yeah, by that point, it'll be 14 months of nursing her. So we definitely did it and we made it <laughs> but now it's time to you know close that chapter so now i'm going to go ahead and move some things around where i have this little table this chair which was actually my grandma's so i keep that on here and then i'm going to go ahead put on some fresh bed sheets that i just washed put on the cushions on the chair and everything like that I'm And then this rug, you guys know it's pretty thin. I have this little rubber dies thing at the bottom to like protect it from sliding, but it does sometimes bunch up. So I'd always like to kind of like fix that up. So it's good again. And then we are working our way onto the last room on the second floor, which is our upstairs bathroom, the shower and everything like that. So I first was clearing everything out of the tub area so I could spritz it down and let that soak while I was cleaning the vanity portion. So putting away the curling a wand, putting away anything on top of the surfaces that didn't belong there, and then removing everything in total so that I can give the surfaces as well as the sink a good clean.
After I'm done with the mirror, I also was spraying any other mirrored pieces that I have, such as this tray that I like to keep like a little candle, cotton balls, of course, the hand soap and things like that. And then I'll wipe those down as well because they do collect, you know, a little bit of dust. And then I'm going to work my way with spraying some countertop cleaner as well as cleaning off all the faucets. Once that was finished, I went ahead and took my scrub daddy because it was time to get going on the tub and tile cleaner that already had set for about 15 minutes. So it was perfect timing to get on in there. I love using the scrub daddy, you guys know, on my tubs and things like that. It just makes it a lot easier with cleaning because I don't have to put so much effort. If you let that cleaner soak in for a good amount of time and then use something with slight abrasive such as the scrub daddy, it just makes it really easy to get on in there and get everything thing cleaned on out. Next up, I'm just taking this little like Clorox pole that I use for cleaning any of the tiles along the walls. It was just a pain when I was doing it. Same thing, I used to do it by hand with the scrub daddy, but this wand has made such a difference and make things so much easier so you're not kind of stretching and bending all over the place, especially at the very top of the tile in the shower where it's really hard to reach. And just so you guys know, you can see the tiles getting darker. That's not because it's dirty. That's just like the color of my grout is a very light gray and anytime it gets wet, it does darken which makes it look dirty but as soon as it's dry then it goes back to normal and it's all fresh and clean removed all the lime scale anything like that on there and then I go ahead and just take a microfiber cloth and give everything a good wipe down while I have the anti-back actually soaking as you saw in the toilet bowl I spritz that in while that's waiting and working its magic I just go ahead and wipe that down to make sure I don't leave like puddles of water in the tub and things like that and then after that, I'll go into my toilet bowl and I just use a paper towel, wiping the entire inside, outside. I'll also put some scrubbing bubbles inside the actual interior of the toilet so I can get that deep cleaned. And then I took a cloth as well and I just wiped down all of the bathroom floor with just some warm soapy water. And this is now the after you guys, um, showing you what everything looks like all clean and tidied. What a big difference. It feels amazing. Am I right when your house is clean? If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're new here, I would love to have you and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.